Konnichiwa, YouTube. This is kind of a depressing topic for me. It took a while to get to the employment issues that you have with AS. Uh, there are some very depressing statistics out there. Eighty percent of people on the spectrum are unemployed. Uh, many more struggle, um, more so even than with other disabilities. And autism is a hidden disability and it can be devastating in this employment uh, respect. Um, having been undiagnosed uh, for so long, uh, it was uh, particularly uh, hard for me to know uh, really why it was so hard for me. But first, some reasons why it's hard. Um, Interviews. Interviews are really Satan's crucible. Having to manufacture confidence and calm for a stranger uh, while they probe you with some pre prefab questions they got out of some managerial pseudo psych book, and uh, it's uh, difficult. And uh, like 40 to 60 percent of people with Asperger's syndrome, I do have an involuntary vocal tick or laugh that occurs uh, more frequently and more severely when I uh, get socially nervous and interviews are always socially nervous and it's uh, difficult to know how, what they make of this uh, when you get uh, uh, all spazzy and uh, uh, make a few sounds maybe that sound like a cornered squirrel but, um, but I have had interviews go well as um, a sheer number I've had uh, one online, two in person, uh, went really well. Uh, in one case, I was the first one hired and was the only one hired that didn't have a four-year computer degree. Uh, Twenty years before I was diagnosed, I got an associate's degree in electronics and another associate's degree in industrial maintenance electrical and programmable logic controller programming. And uh, I thought I wanted to work with machines um, I, I knew I didn't want to work with people. I knew my math skills were better than than other people, uh, but my, I knew my social skills were shit. But at that time, I wasn't diagnosed, and I think uh, a lot of undiagnosed uh, Aspies do know these things. And um, you know, Aspies typically have IQs that are twenty to thirty points higher than neurotypicals, and they take these these job failures. Uh, uh, very much to heart. Uh, not to live up to your potential is a horrible thing, but it's very common in in this wild, wild country, sadly. Um, but uh, my degree in electronics was really a bad move. I should have went into computer programming proper or maybe even better yet, accounting, uh, something that I uh, could do more solitarily. Turns out that industrial maintenance jobs are a team effort, and the carpet mills and such in the industry in our area is a very redneck uh, cooperative venture where I really didn't fit in at all, and they don't uh, let you program the PLCs anyway. But uh, I have had more luck at jobs such as technical support and customer service for. Uh, credit card companies, tax uh, software firm, uh, technical support where I worked uh, four and a half years at Gap, Visa, and Lowe's credit cards. Uh, about a year at uh, Best Buy in both technical support and sales where I racked up some really good sales numbers, sold a lot of Xboxes. And the thing about that is you are working alone which I prefer, but also you're able to take advantage of scripts and prefab scripts and dedicated personas to um, it keeps you calm and directed and you're able to gather information and use your information and power to help people and, and people are grateful when you help them when they're technical problems or you sell them a nice product a good deal and so that's okay but they overload you with 150 calls a day even when you're working from home and it gets majorly stressful. I wouldn't want to go back to it. My favorite jobs I've had uh, have been in security um, and uh, had all types of uh, security postings, several different companies and the great thing about it is you're predominantly working alone and you're able to deal with people for the most part uh, one on one, one at a time, whether it's in uh, 
uh, an industrial setting uh, with truck drivers or whatever, and they're easy to get along with as long as, again, you're using sort of a, a prefab script to get over the menacing small talk. We hate small talk. We ask these, but, and that's why many of us use a prefabricated uh, script and dedicated persona, even in our daily interactions with uh, regular people. But it's really essential in a work environment uh, just to get through you know the small talk and everything um, but uh, the jobs where I uh, couldn't perform as well was there's too many people on a team there's people talking at the same time talking over people loud noises um, in the background I've noticed that even uh, there might be, I might have a little bit of auditory processing issue. A lot of times I cannot make out what people are saying. There's too many people talking and you get too many cooks in the kitchen. But essentially, my major uh, uh, problem with Asperger's is too many social people uh, coming at me at once. One interview I had for a major uh, industrial power had half a dozen interviewers all at once from each from each different department. There was one from HR, one from maintenance, and, and that was totally overwhelming, particularly when they uh, seemed, some of them seemed confused by some of the other one's questions, like the HR lady couldn't understand the technical questions that were being asked or my technical answers, and that created quite a conflict in between the six people that were interviewing me at the same time. So that one was particularly horrifying. I do now have a uh, propanol beta blocker blood pressure medication that I can take for an interview and it, it will stop the flight or flight, bring down my pulse, and um, I can perform better and calmer. And I would recommend propanol as a, as a, for this purpose. It really uh, does work. Um, I would also um, recommend that other aspects look into the scripting thing um, if they're into technical support. I, I never thought I could do uh, sales when I first started, but it, it's so easy with a script and uh, multitasking is easy when it's a dozen windows you've got open on your computer. It's, it's a little more difficult when you're multitasking people. I can't multitask uh, people very well. Um, but um, at any rate, it is a um, quite, uh, I wish I'd went into that accounting, but that's all I wanted to say for now, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a hard work environment when you have Asperger's syndrome.